Constitutional Committee. Early. Good to meet you, Governor. Yeah, sorry about the heat. Oh. Iced tea, mint julep. When in Rome. Thanks, Karen. When JJ gets here, tell him to come straight through. Yes, sir. Just wait for the lawyer. No, can't trust you. Thought I knew most of you guys at headquarters. We run the research department up there. Actually, you and I shared a table at a fundraiser a few years ago in Atlanta. Sorry, I must be losing my touch. Happens to us all, Governor. So what is it that couldn't be said over the phone from Washington? As you know, Senator Collins now has the Democratic nomination for president. Yeah, I called to congratulate him. And the senator was grateful for that call. Not least since you campaigned so hard for Harper. That's politics. You see, Collins has the numbers, he has the cash, and he's got the momentum. What he doesn't yet have is a running mate. Gone. His first choice is currently you. Ah. Uh. We're looking to achieve two things this morning. Number one, get some idea if you're willing to accept his offer. Of course, on the spot. That's great. And secondly, You were saying? Yeah. The other thing is we need to gather all information about you relevant to the campaign. Background. Tax records, voting records, every speech you've given, everything that's ever been written about you. Sure. And then there are things that should only be talked about privately in a room like this. That's why we wanted to come down here personally. We wanted to be early in case of any reporters. As you know, Governor, politics has changed a great deal in the last 10 years. To the Republican Party, we're no longer just the opponent, we're the enemy. They don't want to win, they want to destroy us. And those thugs are, excuse me, the most ruthless sons of bitches you'll ever meet. It's tricks and cons, rumors and allegations. And that means that we have to be ruthless sons of bitches as well. They're going to come after you and your career and your family. And they will not stop until they've wiped you off the face of the earth. So, how it works is... You tell us everything, then we'll know everything, then we'll be ready. We can defend, we can defuse, we can distract. Uh, Governor, this is never pleasant. It never is, but it's got to be done, and we're going to make it as painless as possible for you. Uh, okay. Now, obviously, you're Democrat. Ever been a Leninist, a Marxist, a Communist, or a Socialist? No. Well, it depends what you mean by Socialist. I mean, when you're young, you play with a lot of ideas. Of course you do. Uh, of course you do. Ever been to the Soviet Union? Nope. How about Cuba? No. Any Eastern Bloc countries? East Germany, with a trade delegation. How long were you there? Four or five days. Anything happen? No. How about the Middle East? Israel, Yemen. I met the Shah of Iran. Oh, that's right. It's <laughs> all in one trip. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, let's talk a bit about your personal life. We've all got a past. I've got a past. Flint here's got a past. People like us couldn't run for office not in a hundred years. I've done things today that would. Because we're ordinary people. So, realistic. You've done things. Fine. Who hasn't? Who hasn't? Ever taken a legal drug? No. Ever take a prescription drug without a prescription? No, I don't think so. No, or you don't think so? I don't think so, no. How much would you say you drink? Not much. But it's not even noon. That's okay. That, 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 that's okay. So, you're married? Happily married? Of course. Is your wife happily married? We are both happily married. How about before you were married? What did you get up to then? I didn't get up to anything. Previous girlfriends, I mean. A couple of girlfriends at college. Can you give us their names? If I must. I'd appreciate that. Have you ever written a letter that might embarrass the President of the United States? No. Oh. Ever appear in a photograph that might embarrass the President of the United States? No. Ever been in debt? No. Ever argue with your wife in a public place? No. Ever hit your wife? No, I've never hit my wife. Ever take a trip with just a female aide? No. Ever bought any pornography? No. Ever kept any pornography in your home? No. Ever been to a brothel? No. How about a massage parlor? No. What about a strip club? No. What about the uh, Red Lotus? Red Lotus is not a strip club. Sounds like one. It's just a place where... Looks like one. Listen, the boys used to take me there about once a year. The boys are running for vice president. Damn it!
Listen, if you crush my life into a million grains of sand and you look at each one, of course you're going to find something. I've told you all I can. I can't tell you anymore because there's nothing more to tell. And it's none of your damn business anyway. If you're not happy for me to run on that basis, then I won't run. I'm sorry. Impressive speech, Governor. Hope you get to make a lot more. We want you to run. So does the Senator. Of course he does. He doesn't think he can win without you. But we've got to get you there. That's all we're trying to do. I understand. And we don't enjoy it any more than you do. I understand. So, how long have you been banging your secretary? <laughs> 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 How long? I, I, Governor, you think we wouldn't hear about Little Miss Mint Julep out there? Just tell us when it started. Tell us when it started. That's all we need to know. Just tell us when it started. About a year ago, maybe more. See? That's why you need us. Now, it makes no difference to me, Governor. I mean, if I was in your shoes, then hey. But, if you work with us, everything can be washed away. We'll speak to this woman. We'll make sure she understands. She'll know what to do if anyone starts sniffing around. This way, it will never leave the room. And I mean that, it won't even go back to Washington. We can help you, if that's what you want. Is that what you want? Can you buzz her? It'll be okay. Karen, these men want to ask you a few questions. I'd like you to go with them and tell them whatever they want to know. Of course, sir. Take all the time you need. Yes, sir. You're doing the right thing, Governor. How did you know? How do we know there was a woman? There always is. Who was that? The guys from the DNC, uh, researchers. Well, I thought they were due now. They wanted to sneak in. They were vetting me. Oh, oh that's wonderful. Congratulations. Uh, gee, you, you didn't want to wait for me? Well, I was going to, but... If you have the questions, we can go through them No, now. I already... You didn't answer everything there and then. 
Well, I oh, I'd had be careful, sir, if I were you. What did they want with your secretary? Can I help you, gentlemen? We're Mr. Lawrence and Mr. Flynn from the Democratic National Committee. We have a meeting with the governor. 